Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here, my name is Rachel and today we've got the third update in the New Decade Project Pan. So welcome back to the third update in this year long project pan. Um, I've got some quite exciting, exciting <laughs> updates for you today um, and I feel like this project is going along a lot better than it was this time during the last update. So before we get into the updates, if you are new to my channel and you're new to the New Decade Project Pan, this was a panning project created by Panning and Stuff. Um, Rebecca over at that channel created this new project and it was a new concept and I really enjoy it. And the concept for this project pan was that it was a year long project where we pick 10 projects products that are brand new. We've never used them before and it's to basically see how far we can get with them within a year if it's possible to use them up or just hit pan. And I thought it was such a fresh new idea that, you know, to take 10 products that are all brand new that have never been used before and to work on them because for most of my projects I have got loads of different products that are at different stages of use so it was interesting to start with all products from the exact same point. Now I did cheat slightly. Now I say slightly because it really I don't think makes a difference in the long run in that a couple of the products that take a lot longer to use up like my um, blush here I have used maybe once or twice before the start of the project. Now, I say once or twice, you couldn't even tell by looking at the pans that they've ever been used. So I don't feel too bad about it, but I just wanted to be totally upfront. So with that out of the way, let's get into the third update. So I'll get straight into it. And the first product that we have within this project pan is my Pixie Glow Tonic, which was the 100 milliliter travel size. and Unfortunately, I don't have it to show you. I did use it up, but when I used it up, I lived in the old house and I didn't see the point of bringing, you know, empty containers to the new house. I didn't transport any of my makeup empties. I just got rid of them because I had enough to move as it was that I didn't see the point in taking empties with me. It just seemed really pointless. So I don't actually have it. I have replaced it with another um, glyconic toner. I've replaced it with the Liqueura dupe in the full size. It is a wonderful product. I really, really enjoy the way it reacts with my skin. So it is a repurchase, but I have used it up, which was my goal with that item. And then we're on to the second product within this project and it is a blush. It is within my Beauty Bakery Pizza Cake palette, which is a blush palette containing three blushes. And I'm working on this one here, which is called Icing. I will give you a close up of how the pan looks, but I've not made a lot of progress with this one. I've not been using it all that much. Uh, I used it at the very beginning of this sort of time period. After the last update, I used it probably solidly for about two weeks and then I started just using my Franken blush very heavily. So I haven't used it as much as I had in the previous period. I like this blush. It, it is so easy for me to use it. I do enjoy using it, but I kind of get stuck in a rut. When I start working on something else, I kind of forget about it and I just solely concentrate on the one that I'm working on at the time. So that is a problem that I have. I do get bogged down and I get tunnel vision. Um, but I'm gonna focus on this one and the other blush within this project more heavily and stop working on my Franken blush going forward because I feel like it's needed. But saying that there is still some noticeable difference. I don't know if it will come up on camera, but the pan is sort of slanting downwards to the right. It's kind of working down this way. And you know, I don't know how long it'll be until I hit pan. I don't know how deep the pans are, but I'm hoping that I'm not too far away. I do still think it will be doable within the time frame of the project. We've got a whole year, which is running up until about Christmas. So I do feel like it's gonna be doable, but I just need to knuckle down and put the work in, I think. 
The next product is a really, really exciting update. I'm so excited to show you this one. So it is my Wet n Wild um, Color Icon Lipstick in the shade Breeze. And I'll show you a close up of it, but there is not much left of this at all. There is probably, I don't know, 0.7 of a centimeter left, maybe seven, six millimeters left compared to how it looked this time last update and I am really really pleased. I have made such a concerted effort to use this. The last update took place right before the British lockdown started. It was literally the day before our lockdown started. I think my update was uploaded on the 22nd and our lockdown began, it was either the 23rd or the 24th. So I use the opportunity of lockdown to use this lipstick as much as possible. This isn't the most flattering lipstick for me, I don't find. It's not one of my favourites. I don't particularly rave over the way it looks. I mean, it looks fine. It doesn't look horrible or anything, but I just don't find that it's the best suited to me. So I thought, right, I'm gonna use the lockdown as the perfect excuse to use this on a daily basis. And I really, really did. And I think it shows because I've used it so, so heavily. And you know, it didn't matter that it didn't look the absolute best because the only person who saw me was Nige and my dog and that's it because I still wore makeup all the way through the lockdown even though I was working from home, even though I was seeing nobody because it's important to me as part of my routine. I still like to keep the same routine no matter what and it just made me feel a bit more normal and a bit more put together and I think that that is so important for your mental health. So I still wore makeup the whole way through and this was part of my everyday routine for pretty much two months and I think it shows. So a bit more solid use and this will be gone. I am feeling so happy about this because this was one of the products that I was most worried about and I was not confident about putting a product that I don't love into a project pan. I don't hate it but I don't love it and usually in order to work on something and really get excited about using it I find that I have to love it. This just goes to show that not necessarily the case. Product number four is another blush and it is pretty much the same story with this one. It is my Benefit World of Blushes palette and the one that I'm working on is California in the bottom left hand corner. I've never tried the full size California which is you know in the box so I don't know how well this compares to the one that you get in the box because quite often the ones that come in palettes are so very different and I'm not sure if that is the case with this. So California, not my favourite. I'm wearing it today as a concerted effort to get some use out of it, but as the shade goes, it's not my favourite on myself. I mean, I don't think it looks bad. I don't think it doesn't suit me. It's just not suited to my personal tastes and preferences. I don't think it looks bad on my skin tone but it just looks different to the sort of thing that I usually go for, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but I don't know, it's just, I don't know, you, you know the way you have like a tier of preferences? This would be about halfway down in my preferences, so my, my favourites would be up at the top and then the ones that I just sort of like and you know are okay would be in the middle, this would be in the middle. Um, it's not something that I would rush to wear. I would wear Rocketeur over every day of the week, which is why this one has pan in it and this one does not. But as blushes go, it's fine. I just need to carry on trying to find a way to use it and possibly one of the best ways to do it to make sure that I get steady progress on this and the Beauty Bakery one would be to layer the Beauty Bakery one over this because that is one of the things that I don't like about California. This is pretty matte on the skin. I mean, on in the pan, it actually does look like it's got a slight sheen to it but it doesn't, it doesn't translate to the skin. If I take a swatch on my finger, it looks pretty chalky. And when I put it on my cheeks, none of that sheen translates. It just looks flat and matte, which isn't the sort of blush that I like. And the icing one has a bit more of a sheen to it. So I think if I topped this with icing, 
I could find a blush, a, you know, a Franken blush that I like, but I'm not going to mix them together. I'm just going to apply them both. I can't be bothered mixing them together and having so much more product. That's just no. <laughs> so that's how I'm getting on with that. And, you know, a bit more effort is needed on my part, I think. Then the next product is another exciting update and it is my Rituals, the Ritual of Karma shower foam and I absolutely love shower foams now. These are just the future in my opinion. I love the texture of them so so much. I've had the Ritual of Ayurveda which is the red one as well and I thought that the Ritual of Ayurveda was my favourite scent. It ain't anymore. I prefer Karma over it every day of the week and I don't know what it is. I think it's just because it's not quite as strong. It's 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 got a relaxing scent to me. It's not overly feminine. Like I think a man could just about get away with wearing this. I mean, you know, men can wear wherever they want, but a man who is averse to overtly feminine smells wouldn't mind wearing this. Like, I don't think my other half would be bothered about wearing this. I don't think he'd think that he smells womanly. But there again, we're talking about somebody who, if he's out of deodorant, he won't think twice about using mine, even though it does smell flowery and girly, but there we go. There's not much of it left. There is a tiny bit. You can't even really shake it within the, um, within the bottle anymore. Now, I've got a note here of the weight because last month the weight of this was 239 grams and it is now 63 grams. So, you know, I've used a lot of it. There isn't much of it left. I don't know how much the packaging itself weighs. I guess we'll find out when it's no longer coming out. But I think I've probably only got maybe maximum five uses left in this. And I've been so enjoying using it. I've used it as just basically a shower foam. I've used it um, to shave. I've just used it a lot more often. I've not kept it for special occasions. <laughs> I've been using it all the time and I really, really love it. I've bought another one for when it's finished. I've not bought a Rituals one because I've not been able to get to Rituals and I've not ordered online. So I got one from the drugstore and it is the Dove Shower Mousse. This is the Akai Oil one and it was a fraction of the price of what Rituals is. I think Rituals is £8.50 and this was 3 99 and it smells so gorgeous. It smells so fruity and creamy and it just smells like a berry yogurt and I love that. So I'm going to see how this one goes on but I'm really glad I could get a good alternative and it feels nice and silky as well. So there's that, but I do love the ritual stuff. I think it does just feel really luxurious on your skin. Product number six has also seen a lot of progress, so much in fact that I can't even show you the product because I used it up very soon after the last update, it was gone. There wasn't much left of it in update two. There was the tiniest little bit. I think it took me about a week and a half to finish it up after that. I don't have the packaging any longer. I did throw it away because I didn't want to bring it to the new house. I had enough to bring without clutter as well. So there's that. That is absolutely used up. It was one of the easy kind of gimmies within this um, project pan. I feel like there always has to be one that's quite easy to use up. And that was the one that I went for this time and no surprise it is used up. So next we're going to go on to one of the more challenging products and it's a hair product. Product number seven is the SGX NYC So Whipped Whipped Mousse and again it's in another container that you can't see into. It's a mousse and you know it's basically in an aerosol container. This I've been using quite a lot, but I've actually been using it slightly less than I was during the last update period. And that's because I've got two hair products of this type within different project pans. I've also got a hair cream in my pan 20 and 2020, and both products kind of do the same thing. They're both volumizing products that you put in where your hair is wet and then you dry your hair with it. So I can't use them both at the same time and I'm trying to work on both of them before the end of the year and get them both used up. I don't know what the hell I was thinking, but apparently I'm crazy. 
So I've used this quite a few times and then I went on to concentrate on my TG cream that I've got but I have seen some progress with this. Although to say that I've used it quite a few times, I'm kind of surprised that the difference in weight isn't more, but maybe I'm just thinking I've used it more than I actually have. So at update two, it weighed 212 grams and now it weighs 193 grams. That you don't use a lot of this in a single app application. Obviously my hair is now longer than it was two months ago, quite noticeably so actually. It's, I think it was up to about my collarbone two months ago. So as my hair does grow, I'm going to need to use more and more of the product. I'm kind of banking on that to get me through the rest of the year and to help me get this used up. So I'm hoping that that is the case. I have certainly noticed that that's the case up to now so hopefully that continues to be the case and I'm really still enjoying this product it does exactly why I need it to I do find that my hair is so much more volumized when I use either this or the other cream and that's all I want because I've got really fine hair so I really need something like that I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue to get this used up by the end of the year I just need to make sure that I balance using both this and the TG. I think I'm going to struggle to use both of them up. I think I'm going to have to pick a side, <laughs> otherwise I'm not going to use either of them. So we'll see. Then next I've got my Benefit Hula Bronzer, which my goal was to hit pan on this and I had done at the last update. And I think I've used more since then, to be honest, because I've carried on using it pretty much as a daily bronzer since then. I'm wearing it today, but I've not been as helpful leather with using it. I have been switching it up and using other bronzers because I don't have other bronzers in Project Pans. So I feel a bit more free to be able to go around my collection and use different things in its place and you know not worry about sacrificing any progress on a product that I've got in a project. That was a mouthful, wow. Um, so I've carried on using it, I don't know whether I want to carry on and see if I can get it used up completely or if I want to um, still play the field and be able to use whichever bronzers that I want but I just thought it was noteworthy that I have continued making progress regardless even though I have hit my goal in this project. So there we go, take that for what you will. Product number nine is my Espar Restorative Balm and I knew there would be a product, I knew there would be one that I would misplace in the move. This is the product. I can't find it for love nor money. I have looked everywhere that I thought I had stored it, but it's only a tiny little pot. So I've put it somewhere for safekeeping and I've forgotten where I've put it. So unfortunately I don't have it to show you, but there wasn't an awful lot of progress within that one. So I don't feel too bad. It is a shame. I don't know where it is. I'm going to have to look deeply for it somewhere. Um, I can't even think where it would be. It might be in my drawer in the living room. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to search again, but I wasn't able to find it now and I'm not prepared to spend an hour looking for it. So unfortunately that one's going to have to wait till next time, but I know that it is a product that I do need to concentrate on more heavily. The final product was my Studio Fix Foundation by MAC. And do you know what? I've kind of cheated. But I've kind of cheated and made things harder for myself. Let me explain what I mean. So at the beginning of the project, I started my MAC Studio Fix Foundation, which was brand new. And it was in the shade NW13. And I was saying all along, that it's not my shade, it's not the best suited to my skin, it's a bit too pink and I knew in the back of my mind that I had an NC15 somewhere that was also brand new that suits my skin a lot lot better. During the course of the move I found my NC15 and I've been using it over the last sort of I'd say six weeks pretty much religiously every single day and I've used so much of it. This is my NC15. So this was brand new again, so it's like starting all over again, but it seems a better proposition than using one that's the wrong color for me because it's so pink. 
it ends up looking very very strange on my skin and it looks a bit there's a two-tone there's a line of demarcation and it kind of it just looks the wrong color for me and it's very obvious and I felt very self-conscious about wearing it but with NC15 it blends right into my neck it looks perfect on my skin it gives me the coverage that I like and for me I was a little bit worried about wearing it every day that it would give me breakouts because I know a lot of people back in the day had breakouts with MAC and probably still do so I thought it will probably do that to my skin it has coverage for me on a par with my Estee Lauder double wear and that one does make me break out if I use it for more than a couple of days on the run I do get a breakout with this I don't and it's amazing it just doesn't seem to irritate my skin in the same way that the Estee Lauder one does and I feel like I get all of the benefits from it that I would get from the Estee Lauder one anyway because my skincare is so much better now than it was the last time I used it which was probably a couple of years ago the last time I really properly used it on a regular basis I don't find that it makes my skin look too dry it probably won't ever be my favorite foundation in the world but for a higher coverage it looks amazing on my skin it doesn't look overly dry it doesn't look overly textured which are things that can definitely happen when you do have dry skin so i find that just by keeping my skincare good and making sure i moisturize well and i exfoliate properly and you know not too often and i just treat my skin with the care and respect that it needs that this foundation actually does end up looking really good on my skin and it is definitely good for those hot humid days where you need your makeup to be kind of a bit more bulletproof so it doesn't just slide off your face and we've had a heat wave during the time that I've been wearing this and my makeup has just held up so well so I'm really glad that I've rediscovered this in the shade that actually suits me because it's not like I ever lost touch with this foundation it's just that I've not worn it as often as I maybe would have done if I'd have found my correct shade within my collection so there we go I've cheated technically because I've moved on to a different studio fix but I've moved on to another studio fix that was also full so <laughs> I made life harder for myself again by starting back from the beginning but there we go this is at the minute let me just see for you where it's up to it's up to about halfway down so within the sort of six weeks that I've been using it nearly every single day I've used up about half of it so I have been using it very very often and that's probably about right because I do find if I use a foundation every single day it usually lasts for about three months as my everyday foundation if I use that and nothing else so that's about right I think it's up to about halfway and definitely no problems with using this up before the end of the year I am so enjoying this right now so as of the third update I have now hit my goal on three products all together three out of the ten considering we're on update three I think that I have definitely picked difficult products considering I've only hit my goal on three of them and we're at the halfway point pretty much of the project by now so I think I've definitely made sure that I've picked difficult products that I'm not going to hit pan on or use up too quickly so I'm quite proud of the point that I'm up to at the minute because I've used a lot more of some of the more challenging products than I thought I might have done so I'm quite proud of my progress in some areas and I know that there's still room for improvement with others so I now know where I need to focus my efforts a bit more and I'm really happy with the progress so far I hope you guys are doing well in your project if you're following along with this one I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one bye guys